2012 was the year a number of judges were removed from the judiciary for incompetence or unbecoming behavior. It started with the Judges and Magistrates Vetting Board, chaired by former Deputy Public Prosecutor Sharad Rao, ruling that a number of very famous judges were unfit to continue holding office. They included Justices Samuel Bosire, Emmanuel Okubasu, and Joseph Nyamu. Several of them would appeal against the ruling of the vetting board, but to no avail. 2012 was a year of tragedies in a number of places in Kenya. In March, the worst ever fire tragedy hit the Sinai slum area of Nairobi following the leakage of an oil gasket. It killed more than 100 people and left 150 others injured. In July, 14 people would be killed and 50 others injured in a grenade attack at a church in Garissa town suspected to have been perpetrated by the outlawed extremist Islamic Al-Shabaab group. By then, Kenyan soldiers had been sent across the border into Somalia to help troops of the African Union mission to Somalia, Amazon, put down the Al-Shabaab rebel forces that controlled most of the southern part of Somalia from their headquarters in the port town of Kismayu. 2012 was the year the International Criminal Court confirmed charges against four of the six Kenyan suspects claimed to have played the biggest role in the 2007-2008 post-election violence that took the country to the brink of civil war. In a majority decision, the ICC judges confirmed charges against Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister Uhuru Kenyatta, Eldoret North MP William Ruto, Head of the Civil Service Francis Muthaura, and journalist Joshua Arab Sang. Charges against Tinderet MP Henry Kosgay and former Police Commissioner Hussein Ali were not confirmed after the judges found insufficient grounds for sustaining them. On the political front, 2012 saw Deputy Prime Minister Musalia Mudavadi finally quit the Orange Democratic Movement, ODM Party, and later choose the United Democratic Forum, UDF, as the party on whose ticket he planned to vie for the presidency. Soon thereafter, Musalia would join Kenyatta, who had launched a new party, the National Alliance, TNA, and Ruto of the United Republic Party, URP, in a new alliance, the Jubilee Alliance, only to quit shortly afterwards when he discovered he wasn't going to be the Jubilee Alliance's presidential candidate. In the quest for supremacy at the coming general election, the Jubilee Alliance would be up against the Coalition for Reform and Democracy, CORD, with Prime Minister Raila Odinga of the Orange Democratic Movement, ODM, Vice President Kalonzo Musyoka of the Wiper Democratic Movement, and Trade Minister Moses Wetangula of the new Ford Kenya would later set up. On the business front, 2012 was the year President Kibaki opened the expanded Kisumu International Airport, which previously only handled domestic flights. The year also saw the British company Talo Oil announce the discovery of oil in Turkana County, a discovery that was expected to eventually place Kenya among Africa's major oil producers. In sports, 2012 was the year Kenya won two gold medals at the Olympic Games in London. One by David Rudisha, who broke the Olympic record in the 800 metres, and the other in the 3,000 metres steeplechase by Ezekiel Kemboi. At home, Carl Tundo, partnered by Tim Jessup, won the safari rally. In 2012, Kenyan said farewell to Minister for Internal Security and former Vice President George Saitoti and his Assistant Minister Orwa Ojode, who died in a helicopter crash in the Ngong Hills in July. Kandara MP and Minister for Transport John Mishuki, former Kiamba MP and Minister for Defence James Njenga Karume, 
former Githunguri MP and Cabinet Minister Arthur Magugu, veteran politician and former Butere MP Martin Chikuku, former head of the Public Service and Assistant Minister Gishugu MP Jeffrey Karedi, and retired Army General Elijah Sumbeyong.